So what's going on, champs? We need to talk about this junk immediately, okay? Because seconds are not stopping, man. In the last 24 hours, what else can I say, man? Truly has been wild. Wilder than Area 51 conspiracies. And guys, you're not gonna believe what just happened, okay? Of course, Dr. Disrespect responded, but the last 24 hours to understand what went down you got nick marks responding and i will read you what he said because he went crazy he went bozo at dr disrespect calling him that hey this retweet dr disrespect oh, yeah we're gonna get down to it so happened in the last 24 hours nick came out not uh, nick marks but another nick First of all, like the video if God has been great, God is good, dislike, and that's gonna be a sin, fellas, I'm warning you immediately, okay? But Nick, uh, another Nick came out, and you know, he had a transformation, I mean, damn, like, brother looking great right now, so, you know, W, kudos to him. Also, in the last 24 hours, uh, you know, everybody's talking rumors about GTA 6 that it has been internally delayed as well. Oh, shit. If you do use Twitter, I would definitely love to have you there. If you use Instagram, I would love to have you there as well, okay? That's the Instagram. Links are always in the pinned comment and in the description. But all of this just went down in the last 24 hours. And now we got this video, another one that I want to show you in this video. We're just going to get right into it, guys. Put your seatbelts on real quick, okay? Because apparently, we're going to start this off with the homie Nick Marks, okay? Now, the thing about the homie Nick Marks is that he went crazy, okay? So the homie Nick Marks says that this retweet Dr. Disrespect is married with children pushing 40, admits to texting a minor inappropriately, his words, not mine, so I cut ties because obviously that's inexcusable. Now I'm a shy's friend for not having his back, triple question mark. And whenever Slick is dropped, triple question mark, you know, that that is just crazy, okay? Like, everybody started looking like this after the fact. And indeed, like, I, I don't know what's going on, man. Like, the homie Nick Merck saying that, the homie Nick Merck saying that, needless to say... Second so drop in DDTs left and right, okay? So that's like the community. That's what's going on in the community. And he called people bunch of brain rot morons on this app for, you know, all that. But here's the thing, though. Doc, disrespect his initial statement. In his initial statement, he did say all kind of that stuff, okay? So we're gonna get to it. But a man on the streets came out, says that a real friend would have called him and talked to him man to man. Damn! Uh, and he responded by saying, I've said multiple times, he sent a text to the boys, uh, I'm assuming like uh, Tim the Tatman as well, and the boys, okay? Him and Tim and maybe uh, other boys as well. And I apologizing for us being dragged into it. Regardless, it doesn't matter. I mean, damn, man, like this uh, was another volcano that was just, uh, you know, it was being ready to erupt. And this volcano has erupted. And man, we got this video too. Shout out to the homie Curse. Put your seatbelts on, guys. Roll it. So Dr. Disrespect finally responded and this situation just got crazy. If you guys aren't fully caught up on the Dr. Disrespect situation, let me explain. So around two and a half months ago, an ex Twitch employee by the name of Cody Connors made a tweet claiming that Dr. Disrespect was banned from Twitch for sexing a minor. Oh shit, here we go again. This tweet immediately went viral because the reason Dr. Disrespect was banned from Twitch in 2020 had never been disclosed publicly. Yeah. But back in 2020, he was banned from the stream platform twitch but he never exactly stated why he had been banned from twitch it was just this big mysterious thing that got glossed over after this dr disrespect posted a long statement on twitter but ultimately he had confirmed that he had indeed been banned from twitch for talking to a minor inappropriately yeah. this was the beginning of the end for dr disrespect because shortly after this tweet he was demonetized on youtube fired from a gaming studio and pretty uh, wrong uh, he was fired before he even put out his statement but it's true though like after he put out his statement and said what he said uh, after that youtube demonetized him and all the sponsors dropped him so that is uh that that's a fact but uh it, it's crazy and doc obviously came out and he responded and said that he was baiting with the entire like minor thing okay well we're gonna get to it i guess he's gonna get to it as well let's see he much lost all of his friends i'm seeing everything on twitter and uh i read through doc's tweet and in that very tweet, uh, he basically confirms that, you know, he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes, you know, and, and look, just to just to be blunt and straightforward, man, I, it, that's that's inexcusable. It's unacceptable. Right. Uh, 
There's no excuse for something like that. After this, Dr. Disrespect will go on a two and a half month hiatus from streaming yeah. where he'd occasionally Holy. post a tweet, but it will be met with hate because obviously he was seen as a pedophile. And that's pretty much the full story hey, hey, whoa, up whoa, until whoa, what whoa. happened today. Because Not for on. the first time in two and a half months, Dr. Disrespect streamed again. I, I think like calling him a PDF, um, that's a little too wild though. You can call him a creep though or whatever you, I, I mean but calling up because here's the thing though there is no proof of him meeting with a minor in real life right whether you find him guilty or not but let's be fair though like that's a term i feel like that is being thrown around very loosely because there are actual pdfs out there uh and, and justice needs to be served absolutely but i don't think doc's a pdf you can call him a creep though because yep he uh, did easter eggs with another baddie while his uh, he had a prego wife right pregnant wife right so yeah like and, and he was messaging underage girls apparently according to doc himself according to twitch uh, uh like there's uh, so many accusations so many rumors it, it's and of course doc's own statement didn't help the case either you can call him a creep uh that's understandable but calling him a PDF PDF that that's I feel like it's a little too exaggerated maybe maybe I'm the only one that's feeling that way uh let, let, let me know where you guys are like you guys can agree disagree feel free to but wait for it and this wasn't an ordinary stream this was him directly addressing all the allegations yeah that happened Yo, it's time yeah it's time he first starts off with him talking about the reason as to why he never disclosed anything regarding his twitch ban publicly you see there was a lawsuit pending and as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> I respected those rules. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. This begs the question as to why Cody Connor leaked this info in the first place. I mean, yeah. the guy is literally an ex-employee, meaning at the point of when he leaked the info, he didn't even work there anymore. And if the case was already resolved- oh, he, he did not like Doc, that's why. He said it, he said it uh, himself. Yeah, and he wanted to chase Cloud and wanted to sell tickets. <laughs> He wanted to sell tickets for his own, uh, what was this called, event or something like that, right? That was, uh, that happened. So that w that was one of the reasons why a lot of people were also mixed on this uh, Doc's case. But after Doc admitted uh, and put out his uh, original statement, w which now Doc is saying, okay, to be perfectly f honest here, like I'm just want to cover like what's been going on. I'm just the messenger, man. I'm just the messenger. Doc is saying initially in his own statement, Doc admitted to texting a minor inappropriately. But yesterday when he responded once again after two months, he said that it was uh, him trying to bait the journalist so and, and that's like you know people are 50 50 with it like it, you you got you saw nick merrick's response on it uh hey he's pushing 40 it missed you texting a minor inappropriately his words not mine so doc did admit to it in his own statement but right now doc is saying that was to bait journalists and let's just assume the best here right Let, let's just say yeah that's what doc was looking to do man like you gotta you gotta understand that these accusations are wild man it's not like that you were uh called out to be a fake gta 6 leaker or crap like that because yeah right now there are rumors going around i mean it's rumors which means it's unconfirmed right so gonna keep it uh, keep it real but there are people that are gonna be running with the narrative that gta 6 has been delayed has been delayed very likely is a possibility we're talking gta 6 and these are the rumors but i'm just trying to make a point right like you being labeled as a gta 6 faker fake leaker or whatever that's different from being labeled as a pdf man like what are we talking about so for example like put yourself in the shoes right let's just say there are crazy accusations going around about you you watching the video you watching yes you watching the video right crazy uh, accusations going around that are allegations rumors going around that you are a pdf let's just say that your first more than likely your first instinct gonna be like okay let me just <laughs> go crazy let me drop the receipts let me drop everything prove it prove it that i am not what they are saying i am right but what doc does in this case he's like yeah bro like i texted a minor inappropriately and to be fair though inappropriately could mean anything he never admitted doc never admitted to sexting a minor like they have been saying so that is true okay we're just tra talking facts there but doc did say that and that is the biggest issue right now and now doc is uh, saying that that was just to bait the journalist okay fair that is fair right like if that is really the case but 
man like the accusations are really really big though because after that he got demonetized was let go from uh, all the places he was at uh and sponsors dropped him and that's where people are 50 50 with it right I wanna know like your doc thoughts. said that means he was only doing this for clout cody connors ex-twitch employee wasn't even involved leaks twitch's reported reason years later yeah cody yeah yeah yeah, yeah, but yeah. why why you why do this after looking on twitter for a bit he didn't like you man that's why he did it but he didn't like you he didn't like you he didn't like you but also man you did not help your case at all with it too bruh like uh, imagine like what doc isn't saying is true right like where uh it was not that bad but why put it in your statement man like you know what i'm saying like that's where people are 50 50 that's why a lot of people are 50 50 because i'm seeing a lot of people uh saying that doc won this debate and okay fair like uh, you think it's, he's guilty you think he's not guilty that's up to you right but his own very own statement is uh is the main issue you, you feel what i'm saying like even if you think he's not guilty I guess you can understand like where a lot of people are now coming from uh, because of his own very own statement and of course he deleted after a month and a half right when everybody saw it when it had 100 million plus views crazy situation man crazy situation and i stumbled across some old tweets from cody connors in these tweets cody is trying yeah. to sell tickets to a show that he's performing at and for some reason he's trying to use dr disrespect's information to do it in this tweet mm. he says and i quote if this show sells out i'll 100 explain why we banned him during the set y'all know what's going on and so do i <laughs> And this didn't just happen once, this happened multiple times. So with the added fact that the case had already been resolved and handled properly legally, there's no other reason besides clout and impressions that yeah. Cody Connors would have leaked this confidential information. This was settled professionally. And you knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided you fucking rat to leak rat. the reported reason Twitch banned me. And here's the thing, though. Uh, this is another one of the reasons why a lot of people are believing he's not guilty because uh, he himself admitted, and that's a fact, right? There hasn't been any criminal charge brought upon. There has, uh, it seems like that there was investigation and whatever they allege, whatever Cody uh, accused Dr. Disrespect of, of course, he accused him of uh, being a PDF and uh, not necessarily PDF, but sexting a minor, which in turn means pdf right but 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 here's the thing though when he did that we also had like other twitch uh, uh users i believe rod breslow also came out and, and like a lot of these uh so-called twitch employees and journalists all of them said that his uh case was sent to child investigation group in in the u.s uh, i don't know the exact term for it i remember covering that story but right now it's not coming up but some 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 group that investigate kids officially and legally right so this case was sent to them and they did not found uh anything to charge dr disrespect with so in other words it, it, it's also proves the 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 point that doc is innocent so there is that aspect to it as well but of course there's the other side you know just like how we had uh, it, it's gonna be a crazy thing that we're gonna do this but you know, a lot of people are also bringing it up, which is, I guess, fair, because uh, EDP, right? EDP. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. EDP was, uh, you know, looking to meet with a minor so much so that he was caught red-handed trying to meet with a minor physically. What I mean by that is that, yeah, he showed up. He showed the F up, okay? He showed the F up at the location, but instead of seeing, like, a, like a minor, like a child there, he saw a bunch of dudes... <laughs> bunch of dudes and they they caught everything on camera and when they tried to forward that tape the video the evidence that they collected them collected themselves to the authorities i mean the authorities never took any action towards edp in other words uh, people are also saying that it does not mean that doc is not guilty uh even if he is not charged legally if that makes sense so they're like both sides uh of the the, the coin right now like i want to know where you guys at this is not my opinion this is what's going around guys like i got I, I want you guys to understand that this is not my opinion this is what's going on man in 2020 well i mean for what cody why did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time mm -hmm. did you not know the reaper he's gonna be i think he's gonna be three times after this Percussions of accusing me?
Cody Connors. After this, Dr. Disrespect goes straight into denying the allegations of sexing anyone, and he even says something that gets kind of confusing. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whisper's messages? <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's Whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement. When you and all these so-called- Yeah, this is, this is the thing, this is the thing. So now Doc is saying that that was for him to bait journalists and he included that purposely, intentionally. And yeah, like make of that what you will. You think that Doc did, a, did make a mistake saying that in his original statement? Or you think that nah, man? He was just trying to. He was just trying to get at the journalist, man. He was trying to get at the journalist. I feel like that even if that is true, he did more harm to himself and his brand than than not doing that, right? Because uh, brother is still in his uh, in character. He's still in his character right now, man. He's still. And I get it though. It's like the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're exaggerating, right? Like, you're in the character, and you're trying to make the best content possible. I get that. I truly get that. I truly get that. But I feel like that for this one, you should not have said that in your statement, bro. All journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets. Did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? This last statement right here was the confusing part because when mm. Dr. Disrespect first responded to the allegations, he himself confirmed this information, tweeting, and I quote, were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. So the bit of him saying did it occur to anyone that they weren't a minor doesn't really make any sense. So the bit of messages with an individual minor back in 2017, the answer is is yes. So the bit of him saying did it occur to anyone that they weren't a minor doesn't really make any sense considering he himself said they were. Unless he's saying now that we shouldn't trust his word, which I know he isn't trying to say. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but you're wrong. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else, and in fact, we n never met in person Ever. Then what they conveniently left out is, one, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. Do you guys know what would solve this entire situation and clear Receipts. up any confusion? Messages. If the chat logs were posted. Yeah. <laughs> we need the chat logs, we need the chat logs, we need the chat logs. Yes, that would solve it. That would solve it, man. Where are the chat logs, bruh? I think uh, either he's like waiting for it or, or he knows the chat logs are actually bad so he's not gonna reveal it. But if he does reveal and it turns out that they weren't that bad, you're Doc1. Then Doc1. You thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Gang gang brother, gang gang homie. But yeah, I mean like uh, I'll be honest man, if he does leak out or reveal, uh, not leak out, but reveal the chat logs, that would be crazy, man. That would indeed be crazy. You think that he would have done it? No, nah, no, nah, or should I, I should say, you think that he would do it? Or or you think that he would have done it if, uh, for example, because a lot of people are saying right now that the, the, the chat logs must be bad. That's why he's not leaking it or revealing it. Totally makes sense, right? Because a normal person, if you, for example, like you watching, like, I was, like I've been saying, right? If you're watching this video, you have been accused of crap like that and you have the receipts you got the chat logs you got the messages you're gonna put them on as fast as possible right you're gonna be faster than Usain Bolt in that situation you're gonna be like nah bro like I gotta I gotta put that out there man I gotta put that joint out there cuz like hey man I'm not what they're claiming to be I got the proof I'm gonna put it out I'm gonna clear my name I'm gonna clear my name I'm gonna clear my name okay but but Doc is not doing that uh, with the the evidence or maybe he's gonna, you never know, maybe he's gonna in the coming days, maybe it's like the 4D chess, like he said, uh, ha that he's playing. Maybe he's really playing the 4D chess, but uh oh, wait for it. This situation has been going on for like four years, and yet we still haven't seen anything of these logs. I know mm -hmm. if I was Dr. Disrespect and people were lying on my name and I'm losing millions of dollars because of it, I'd want these logs to get public as soon yeah. as possible, yeah, yeah, yeah. unless- I Exactly my point, exactly my point. I think anybody would. Unless Doc does it in the coming days, that would be a crazy situation indeed, but 
But then you would have people saying that, uh, understandably and rightfully, people would either be like, yeah, these uh, are fake or these are real. And if Twitch comes out, and for example, right, like if Doc comes out tomorrow and leaks or reveals the chat logs, people are going to be 50-50 about it, right? Whether it's, people are going to be like, is it real, is it fake, fabricated lies, whatever, right? And then if Twitch comes out and they say that, yep, these are fake, then it's it's like over after that, even if they are not fake. And then, or or if Twitch, in best good case scenario, right, like best case scenario, if Twitch comes out and approves and says that, yep, these are the chat logs, I don't think they would ever, to be fair though. You know, I think this is just us uh, assuming and whatnot. But if Twitch were to confirm, and or if Doc does not reveal it, if Twitch reveals the chat logs themselves and we see it, it's not that bad, then that would be good. That would be good. But I don't think it would happen by Twitch at, at, at the very least. These so-called logs still make him look very guilty. I'll say it again, neither I, nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. Uh -huh. I even used the word inappropriate, purposely. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? I'm sorry, but mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. No, I do agree with that. If that's what happened, uh, I, uh, I agree, like, he shouldn't have been banned. Uh, he shouldn't have been, like, uh, canceled the way he has been. The only issue right now is, again, I know, like, everybody's bringing it up, but his very own statement, uh, and right now he's saying that it was just to, like, trick, to bait. I get that, like, yeah, in certain scenarios, I guess you can bait, you can trick, and then come out with the gotcha moment. It's gonna be shitty, but okay, you can do that. But when you're being accused of PDF and crap like that, it's serious, man, it is serious, like... You know, you got demonetized by YouTube and all that. Now, Doc uh, also did say that he's gonna be able to reapply for monetization on YouTube. And yes, that is true because I believe if you get demonetized on YouTube, you have a month. Uh, they, YouTube does give you a second chance. So YouTube is like, okay, you can reapply for monetization 30 days after, three months after. It, it, you know, it's, there are situations like that. So that's good. And maybe t YouTube is gonna accept him after that, or maybe not. We'll, we'll find out what happens. Uh, what happens he said that this month by the end of this month he can apply I believe he was saying September 25th if I'm not mistaken, but he did claim that so that's yeah If he gets monetized then yeah, it's fine. It's good uh, if he doesn't then if he doesn't but the point is that even if he gets monetized or not on YouTube He has done a lot of damage to his brand and his reputation Maybe not like in terms of viewers Wise because if you're his viewer uh, if you're his fan or not fan he killed it with his comeback stream Crazy amount of viewers. I believe uh, 200k at one point is uh, what people are saying. Insane. Yes, he got a lot of clout with that. But you guys gotta understand that Doc is really, really big. He was in the same talent agency as Robert Downey Jr. too. Oh, shit. And he was dropped from that NFL, the actual NBA, the NFL. Bunch of video game publishers uh, that he had deals with. He had his skin in multiple games, right? Like, yeah, so all of that canceled, all of that dropped. So... He took a massive hit uh, to his brand. Right now, fans are on his side. That's good, but you guys gotta understand that, like, yeah, right? Unless he himself don't care about him being part of, like, talent agencies, uh, being in part of NBA, NFL. I doubt it, but okay, maybe. Maybe that's uh, one of the reasons why he was like, let me just go balls to the walls, maybe. I mean, how would each of you look if all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who is deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words. The, the truth is, canceled. if my group chat got leaked, not only would I be serving multiple life sentences, I'd probably have the death penalty. What do you mean by that? So I can understand his point there. However, my group chat doesn't include random minors who are fans yeah. of- hey, hey, Whoa, 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 hey, tranquilo, tranquilo, papi, 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 chill, papi. Thank you. Mine. Doc is old enough to understand that he shouldn't be having certain conversations with certain groups of people. Over the next few minutes, Dr. Disrespect talks about his ex-partner manager who had it out for him and how they were directly involved in him getting suspended on Twitch, which isn't really that important because I'm more concerned over why you got banned rather than who got you banned. But then he started tweaking. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never tweaking ever investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. 
Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking yeah. unbelievable! The fact that he said Twitch didn't investigate the age of consent in the jurisdiction of where the That's user wild. sent the messages makes me believe that the user was probably 16 or 17, which in the U.S. is still considered a minor, but in some other places it isn't. And I say this because... Uh, bro, like, even in the U.S., I, uh, listen, I did not make the law, I didn't write the law, like, uh, I'm just like you guys out there, man, but, uh... But even in the U.S., the age of consent is 16. In many different states. And, and yeah, like, people have debated that for a while, for a while. This is why I'm saying, like, if this is true, if he was uh, texting, like, a 16-year-old, 17-year-old, he's not a PDF, in my honest opinion. You can call him a creep and all that because of his age and the age gap. You can call him whatever you want to. But I don't, if you really message a 16 or a 17, so far we do not know the actual age of the person, right? But if that's really true, you can call him a creep, not a PDF though, right? Because uh, that, that, is, that is crazy. But if it turns out that it was a 13 year old, then okay, yes, go for it. But you, you know what I mean. Guys, let me know your thoughts, man. This situation is crazy. Check out this video on the screen. We got some GTA 6 and PS5 Pro gameplay leaks, man. And uh, they kind of looking not that good, man. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Insane drama, man. Insane drama.